Sorry about that. My alarm went off and it stopped the video recording. So here we have found our quadrant two angle. So 150.79 degrees. That gives me that negative tangent value. So now I want to find this other angle, which is in quadrant four. So I need to find out this angle measurement. So I could add 90 degrees all the way around and then find what that missing wedge is by doing 90 minus 29.21. Or I can just consider that the full rotation is 360 and subtract 29.21. So negative 29.21 plus 360. So folks, unfortunately, there's no like set formula like, oh, you always do this to find the quadrant two angle. You always do this to find the quadrant four angle. It depends on the sign of your reference angle, first of all, and it also depends on your diagram. So this is why on the homework, um, I'm going to require that you draw the diagram just because it is really, really tough to visualize what is going on otherwise. So if I take 360 minus 29.21, we get x equals 330.79 degrees. So that is my quadrant four angle or the angle that gives me a negative tangent. So we have now found a total of four solutions for this one. So what's weird about this one is the solving part wasn't too bad. Good old square root, square root, and then rationalizing the denominator. But what's tough about this one is the approximating part. So anytime you have to approximate, just remember your calculator only shows you the acute reference angle, and then you have to draw out your diagram using what you know about the quadrants and their signs to figure out where your other solutions are. So um, we're going to briefly talk through number nine, I think, in the next video. So I will see you there.